Have you ever wondered how the future of fish farming might look, and what impact it could have on our environment? These are profound questions that are answering themselves in real time as we speak. Fish farming, or aquaculture, has been around for centuries, but it has never been more important than now. With the global population growing at an unprecedented pace, the demand for food, especially protein, is also on the rise. And guess what? Fish are an excellent source of protein. But there's a catch, the wild fish stocks we've been relying on are dwindling at alarming rates. Overfishing is a real issue and it's one we can't ignore. So, what do we do? We turn to fish farming. It's a sustainable way to meet our growing food demands without depleting our wild fish stocks. But it's not just about farming more fish, it's about doing it sustainably. This is where the innovation comes in. The future of fish farming is about finding ways to increase productivity while minimizing the environmental footprint. Traditional fish farming methods have their drawbacks. They can lead to water pollution, disease spread, and they use a significant amount of water. So we need new, innovative methods that can address these issues. But guess what? The future is already here. We're living in an era where technology and innovation are transforming every aspect of our lives, and fish farming is no exception. There's a new kid on the block and it's revolutionizing the way we farm fish. This new method is not only more efficient and productive but it's also more sustainable. It's a win-win situation for everyone. For us, for the fish, and for the environment. The future of fish farming is here, and it's called Recirculating Aquaculture Systems, also known as RAS. This is where the story of sustainable fish farming begins. This is where we start to make a difference. This is the future, and it's happening right here, right now. So, let's dive in and explore the world of RAS. If you're wondering what recirculating aquaculture systems are, you're about to find out. Picture this, you're a fish, swimming freely in a large tank, the water around you is as clean and fresh as a mountain stream, the perfect temperature, and just the right level of oxygen. This isn't some fishy utopia, it's a recirculating aquaculture system, or RAS for short. So what's the secret? Well it's all in the name. Recirculating, aquaculture, systems. These systems work by constantly filtering and recycling the water within the fish tanks. This allows for the water to be reused several times, resulting in a significant reduction in water usage. It's a game-changer for fish farming, transforming it into a more sustainable and resource-efficient practice. But the magic of RAS doesn't stop there. The system also gives farmers the ability to control vital parameters like water temperature and oxygen levels. You see, fish are a bit like Goldilocks. They need their environment to be just right, too hot, too cold, too much or too little oxygen, and they can get sick, or worse. With RAS, farmers can keep these parameters in the optimal range, ensuring the fish are healthy and thriving. It's like having a high-tech life support system, but for fish. And the best part? It's not just the fish that benefit. By reducing water usage and controlling waste, RAS systems are also helping to lessen the environmental impact of fish farming. Thanks to RAS, we're seeing fish farming evolve. We're moving away from traditional resource-intensive practices towards something more sustainable, more efficient. It's a win for the fish, a win for the farmers, and a win for the environment. By using RAS, we are stepping into a new era of fish farming that is not only sustainable, but also efficient. You might be surprised to know that some of the most advanced fish farming facilities are right here in the United States. The adoption of recirculating aquaculture systems or RAS for short, is changing the game in American aquaculture. Imagine a system that allows you to grow fish in a controlled environment, where every aspect from the water quality to temperature is meticulously managed. That's RAS for you. This technology is not just a fancy gadget for fish farmers, it's their secret weapon. It's boosting productivity by leaps and bounds. It's like setting a fish farm on turbo mode. And it's not just about quantity, it's about quality too. Because the environment is so carefully managed, the fish grown in RAS systems are healthier and that translates to tastier, better quality produce on your dinner plate. Aquaculturists across the country are embracing RAS and it's easy to see why. The ability to control conditions means less risk and more reward. It's like having a crystal ball that lets you foresee and mitigate potential issues before they become problems. And here's the kicker. RAS isn't just good for the farmers and the consumers, it's good for the fish too. They get to live in a near-natural habitat that's clean, safe, and stress-free. It's a win-win situation for everyone involved. But let's not forget the sustainability factor. 
In a world where resources are becoming scarcer and the impact of farming on the environment is under the microscope, RAS stands out as a shining beacon. It uses less water, less land, and produces less waste. It's a sustainable way to farm fish that could help secure our food supply for future generations. With the use of RAS, American fish farms are setting new standards in sustainable aquaculture. But how does RAS affect our environment? Is it as green as it sounds? These are pertinent questions that we need to address when we look at the broader picture of fish farming. Without a doubt, the Recirculating Aquaculture System, or RAS, is shaking up the world of aquaculture, and one of its most significant impacts is on the environment. But before we delve into the environmental benefits, let's take a moment to understand how RAS works. This ingenious system recycles water within the fish farm, drastically reducing the need for fresh water. It's an undeniable game-changer in water conservation. But that's not all. The water recycling process within RAS also involves filtering out fish waste, which is then used as fertilizer. This means less waste dumped into our oceans and rivers, and more nutrients going back into the soil, contributing to a circular economy. In a world where water scarcity is a growing concern, and environmental sustainability is no longer a choice but a necessity, the RAS is proving to be a beacon of hope. It's not just about farming fish more efficiently, it's about doing it in a way that respects and preserves our planet. But what about the energy consumption you might ask? Well, while it's true that RAS does require energy to operate, advancements in renewable energy technologies are making it possible to power these systems more sustainably. Solar panels, wind turbines, and even bioenergy from fish waste are all being explored as potential power sources for RAS. So, in a nutshell, RAS not only conserves water and recycles waste, but it also has the potential to run on renewable energy. It's an all-round champion for sustainable aquaculture, and it's setting the bar high for environmental standards in the industry. Indeed, RAS is redefining the environmental standards in aquaculture. So are we ready for this future of fish farming? As we cast our nets into the depths of the future, it's clear that the wider adoption of recirculating aquaculture systems, or RAS, is more than just a ripple on the water's surface. It's a wave of change that's reshaping the global fish farming industry, with its ability to recycle and reuse water, control crucial parameters like temperature and oxygen levels, and produce healthier, more sustainable fish, RAS is set to become the new standard in aquaculture. And this future is not some distant horizon, it's happening right here, right now. Across the globe, fish farms are beginning to implement this revolutionary system, and the results are nothing short of astounding. From the heartland of America to the coasts of Japan, RAS is proving to be a game-changer. But like any journey into uncharted waters, the wider adoption of RAS is not without its challenges. High setup costs, technical complexities, and the need for skilled labor are all obstacles that need to be navigated, but with the right investment, training, and support, these challenges can be overcome. And the rewards? They're worth every drop of sweat and every penny spent. Healthier fish, more sustainable practices, greater productivity, a brighter future for our planet. So, as we stand on the cusp of this new era in fish farming, let's remember that the future is not something we merely wait for, it's something we create, and with RAS, we're creating a future that's not just good for business, but good for the world as well. The future of fish farming is not just a concept anymore. It's happening right now and it's more sustainable.